All right, guys, uh, back with another video. Uh, what we have on the bench is the front section to a uh, BMW. Uh, the transmission is a 6HP26. We're going to be installing a bushing kit for it. Uh, the bushings we're going to be putting in today is the uh, stator bushing, which is also the seal uh, for the uh, uh, clutch E apply. Uh, this is the A clutch. There's two bushings. We got to take this planet out and install two bushings in here. Uh, this is the C clutch drum. We got one here and one here. And the hub, we got a bushing here and a bushing here. Uh, and the bushing kit comes from uh, Omega Machine. Uh, so, what we're going to do is uh, knock the old ones out, install the new ones, and make sure they fit okay. And uh, we'll start doing that now. All right, so the uh, first bushing we're gonna knock out and change is the uh, stator bushing. Uh, these things wear out pretty good, and like I said, this actually is the seal for the E-clutch. So if you have issues um, like flaring on the three to four, flaring on the four to five, uh, more than likely the bushing is, uh, is worn out, allowing the applied oil to escape. Um, so this is what I use to uh, knock the uh, uh, the bushings out, so we're going to knock this one out first. Okay. All right. Going to crush it on this side. want to make sure this is, feels nice and smooth here. Now what I'm going to actually try to do uh, is use a uh, bushing driver uh, to knock these in so I don't have to keep going back and forth to the press. Uh, so let me get set up for that and I'll be right back. Alright, so we got the bushing out and then we're going to knock the new one in. So again this is the uh, E clutch drum, this is the bushing, fits pretty good. I'm not going to take it over to the press so I don't have to go back and forth, um, but I got this little driver here. I'm going to try to hit it in very, very gently, not to distort the bushing. See how the drum fits. All right, that's a pretty good fit. I'm actually going to hit this down a little more. Get it. I like to get it recessed a little bit. Okay. Let's try it again. Make sure everything is good. Okay, that's spinning nice. I got a dead blow hammer just to give it a couple of shots. That'll help a seat. Okay, comes right out. That looks pretty good. Okay, so that's the stator pushing. Uh, also used to seal the E clutch fly oil. Okay, now next, this is the A clutch drum. And this has this planet in here. And there's a snap ring. You got to use a very thin screwdriver and a flashlight to see the snap ring to get the snap ring out to take the planet out. Um, some are harder than others. Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Sometimes I couldn't get it out and I had to uh, leave it in there and do the bushings. It's a little bit harder to do the bushings uh, with the planet in, but let's see if we can get this thing out because uh, it'll make it life a lot easier to knock those in. And what I use for that is a, a thin screwdriver like this. 
and I got my flashlight. So you got to look in between the gears. You'll see the uh, a small piece of the clip, and you got to just push in on it and see if it'll come out. Okay, so I got one side up. Let me turn it around. Okay. Okay. This one actually came out pretty easy. Here's the sun gear. And this is the, let me just take this out so you can see it. This is the clip that you have to collapse in order to get this out. And the clip uh, sits here. And that's what you have to put. So, this one actually came out pretty easy. Um, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I usually pop one side up and then pop the other side up and yeah, you know, normally it comes out. So we got two bushings. We got two bushings here that we're going to uh, knock in. So we'll knock the old ones out. Okay, this bushing here sticks up a little bit and I'll show you what I do to knock that in to get the right thing. Okay, there's one. We'll turn this over and the other bushing is here. Okay, and that's that. All right. So actually, we're gonna need the pump for this. And what I do, there is a spacer uh, that goes here. And what I do is I take the uh, rings off so the drum will fit okay. I don't have to worry about tearing the rings and I'll just put them back on or breaking the rings, they're metal rings. Okay, so let's leave this here. We'll work with this. Okay, so the first bushing, the larger one is going to go on this side. I have a large uh, bushing driver. Feels good. Okay, now the second one, it has to stick up a little bit. So what I do is I have a, a bushing driver that fits perfectly here, like that. And then I have to get another one. Right. And actually, I'm, I'm setting it, I'm resting the drum on the bushing driver. And then this one here is going to go. Okay. And then I use my bushing driver and we're going to knock that in. And then as soon as it hits, as soon as the bushing driver as soon as the bushing hits the bushing driver that I have underneath, it'll stop and the head will be per perfect. All right, so it's on now. I still have that. I still have that lip right here. We'll try this on. That looks real good. Okay, now we're going to put the uh, planet, snap the planet back in. And that's got to go, in, it'll only go in one way so everything lines up. Okay, that just snaps back in. 
and that's it. All right, so that looks good. All right, what do we got next? We're gonna do the we're gonna do the C clutch drum next. Okay, so first thing we'll do is that the top pushing out, both pushings are the same on the 6HP26. On the C drum on the 6HP19, they are different. The top one is different than the bottom. Okay, is that one? It comes right up. This one has to be recessed a little bit. So we're gonna knock this one in. Make sure this uh, is good. Okay, it feels nice. And then what I have is a set, is a spare bushing because I really don't have a bushing driver to fit this. So I have another one that I set right on top. Okay, and then. Give it a little push down. It looks like it moved. Let me just turn it over. There we go, that's better. Give it a little tap. Recess, just how I want it. Okay, this one's a little tight now, because I probably burped it. Pick it up. And that's it. Okay, now the other one is all the way down in here and pretty much do that the same way. Uh, let me see if I can uh, change the angle so you can so you can see. Let me just pause it for one second, I'll turn it back on.